Happy Thumbs Gaming. Week show. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out the hardcore mode Save Exploit for Medal of Honor Warfighter. Uh, as most of you probably have figured out by now, the hardcore mode uh, rewards you with a trophy slash achievement for beating it on hardcore mode, and it's just called hardcore. Now, if you die at any point during the hardcore mode, it resets you back to the very beginning. So we found a save exploit uh, that you can actually just practice this method and get your way through. So at any point during the game, you can see the autosave icon up in the corner flashing. And once it's done saving, you want to make sure it's absolutely done saving, you can actually quit to the menu and it will keep your progress. So when you return, you can, you can go ahead and continue from there. So now what we've figured out is with, uh, you've got a couple options here. You can either save it to your PlayStation Cloud or you can save it to a jump drive. Now, Xbox guys, I'm not exactly sure how this works. And maybe uh, if one of you guys wants to step up and maybe try this for us or verify that it does work because I'm sure we're not the inventors of this. Um, but once you get back to the main menu, you're going to want to quit to the PlayStation menu. And then at this point, you want to save it to an external source, such as a USB flash drive, jump drive, thumb drive, whatever your preference of calling it is, um, an SD card, something of that sort. And you're going to want to copy your data from your PlayStation data to the external device. In this case, I'm copying it to a thumb drive that you just plug into the front of the USB of the PlayStation there. Now, it's also good practice to go ahead and save it to both. Uh, if you have a PlayStation Plus, then you go ahead and save it to the PlayStation Plus as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now, too. So you can see I just hit triangle to copy, or to get the option to copy, hit X to copy, verify yes, I want to overwrite the data that already exists. And you got to be careful with this, because as easy as this process is, it's really easy to mess up. And I'll be honest, I'm glad that I'm super anal and I copy to the jump drive and to my uh, to my cloud because I had a little incident that almost screwed me out of the entire game. So here we are again. I just went ahead and cut through, and we're back right to where we basically left off. Now I missed. Um, I was trying to get the trophy here as well as beat it. So the trophy is uh, leftover lead, and you basically can't miss a shot. You got to hit all the targeted guys without missing. So I missed right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and quit and just show you the process of actually loading in data once you've died because had i have continued right there um i could have probably made it but i you know let's just assume that i died and that was starting me over now you come and instead of going to your data from the ps3 you access your external device and go ahead and copy it and yes you want to overwrite the data on the ps3 now if you have more than one usb drive uh you know feel free to copy a couple of them just to protect yourself because uh, like i said i had a little incident last night where it was like super late i was on the second to last checkpoint of the game and i died you know i only died doing this like four or five times i spent way more time saving than i really needed to but as a precautionary i did it and i did speed all this up but i'm just simply uh showing you guys that if it loads all the way back in then it does restart us right where we were Sure, leave, yay. So you can keep doing that. You can also quit to menu. If you know where the checkpoint is and where the save point is, if you s quit to menu before it saves, um, you know, like, for example, in that scene right there in Shore Leave, if the chopper gets shot down, you're toast. So if you can, if you see the chopper taking lots of damage and you think you're going to die, quit to menu, and you can actually just, you know, regain your progress from right there. Just start up the campaign again. You don't even have to go through the save. But... Av having an external save outside of the game will save your ass if you make a mistake along the way. So, basically, uh, here we're just going to wrap this out and show you again that, uh, you know, basically we screw up and we quit again. And then we do, in fact, get the trophy. We just wanted to, you know, show you guys out there that this method does, in fact, prove to be worthy. And it is a big pain in the ass. All right, so I missed him, right? trying to get that trophy so in this case I didn't die I could quit to menu right now but to be completely honest with you it was really early in my practice of this I just I kind of figured this out on my own and started doing it and then I went and I looked on a couple forums and I saw that I wasn't the only person doing this a couple other people had suggested but 
And here's your living proof. Booyakasha! Hardcore trophy. Yeah, buddy. All right, so not the easiest, prettiest way, but hey, uh, uh, you know, for all you serious trophy slash achievement hunters out there trying to do this, uh, this method may prove to be awesome. Again, if there's any Xbox users out there that have an active live account that has Medal of Honor already, that has any information on this, they could verify one way or the other. Hey, maybe you even have uh, a recorder and could do a little video for us. Uh, we greatly appreciate it. Of course, we'd give you all the credit, and uh, who knows? It might even open up a door for a future at Happy Thumbs for you. We do need an Xbox guy. So not uh, opening the doors for uh, applications, but, hey, volunteer work is definitely something uh, we wouldn't shy away from right now. So feel free to comment, vote, subscribe if you like what we're doing. Head on over to Twitter and Facebook, as always. Also check out happythumbsgaming.com for all of the videos we put up so far. And as always, until next time, see ya.